Hi all, in this video on JMRI's Panel Pro, we're going to be adding our signal logic to our various signals on our small section of track on our panel. You'll notice that the track work has changed somewhat since the last video, and we now have this addition of this outer ring of track connecting the two ends of our mainline track. You'll notice that it's actually one complete block and by clicking on the sensor up the top here for LS9, you'll see that the three sections of track are now all connected into a block. The reason why we've added this is so that the signal logic will actually function properly. Also, we've added these single head masts on the left hand side here and here so that the signal mask logic will again operate correctly and we can show you how it functions. So to begin, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding our signal mask logic from our triple head mast here on the left to our single head mast here on the right. When programming signal logic, we need to be able to work in pairs. So we need to have a source mast and a destination mast for the signal logic to be able to function properly. And the first step in this video is that we're going to be adding our sensors or our blocks to the signal logic. So between the triple head mast here on the left and the single head mast here on the right, the sensors or the blocks that we need to be adding are LS3 here for our right hand turnout and at LT89, our mainline section of track at LS4, our left hand turnout at LS6, at our turnout LT89, and our section of track at LS7. So to begin with, what we need to do is we need to add those sensors to our triple head mast here on the left. And by doing a right click on that, it brings up our menu button for that signal head. If we scroll down to signal mask logic and click on it, it brings up our signaling mask pairs. And you'll see that it's already highlighted test track one west mast, which is our triple head mast here on the left. You'll see that the two buttons down the bottom, there's a discover button on the left hand side. The discover button relates to automatic functions within Panel Pro that allow the program itself to define paths and other signals that may be connected to this triple head mast. We won't be going through that on this video, but it is a function of Panel Pro that can be used. We're going to be adding all our signal, uh, signal mast logic manually. So the first thing we do is click on add signal logic, and then that brings up our signaling mast pairs window. And you'll see that it's already placed our source mast, test track one west mast, into the top section. Underneath, we have our destination mast. And when we click on our drop down, scroll down box and scroll down to the bottom, we need to find our signal head mast on the right hand side. Being the right hand side of the layout, it's represented by the east. So we look for this in our common naming convention. And here it is here, test track one east, single mast. And we click on it. That is then locked these two signal masts into this section of signal mast logic. Underneath here, you'll see three tick boxes. For this video, we won't be worrying about any of these features to do with the signaling mast pairs. Underneath that, we have our four tabs, blocks, turnouts, sensors, and signal masts. The only two that we're working with when manually adding signal logic is our blocks and our turnouts. So in this video, we're going to be adding the blocks or our sensors for our signal logic. So when we click on the blocks button, you'll see here that we then have a username here. So what we're now looking for is we're looking for our sensors of LS3, LS4, LS6, and LS7. So we scroll down until we find those. And then what we want to do is when we've found them, is we want to click and include them in the signal logic. So in this column here, we have an include button. So we click on LS3, LS4. We won't worry about LS5 because that's actually our passing side in here on our right hand turnout, but we want to include LS6 and LS7. So to know that we're only programming those four sensors, we click on the include button up the top. That then just includes only the ones that we've ticked. So now what we need to be able to do is we need to tell that logic that if any of these sensors are occupied, we want it to show, the signal logic to show, some form of restrictive or stop aspect in this triple head mast. So in the state column here, if we click on this, it brings up unoccupied, occupied or any state. 
So what we do is to program the logic, we click on unoccupied because we're basically saying that we want the signal logic to provide some sort of forward or clear aspect in this triple head mast because the four blocks that we've picked are unoccupied. So we go down and we click unoccupied on all of them. Then what we need to do is we need to work and add our turnouts. We click back on the show all button to show the turnouts that are programmed off the logo net. And you'll see here that we have LT89 and then to the right we have LT90. So working from the signaling mask pairs window again, we need to find those two turnouts within our list here. So scrolling down until we find them, we have LT89 and LT90, and we click on include, so they're included within the signal logic. Again, going back up to the included button, will only show the two that have been ticked. Because we're working on the continuation side of this turnout and along our main line, we want the turnouts LT89 and LT90 to be closed. So we change from thrown to closed. And then what we need to do is we need to click update signal logic. And you'll notice that when we do that, in our signaling mask pairs window, the signal logic has actually now been added into our signaling mask pairs window and it's actually active and it's enabled. Some of you may have also noticed that we now have a yellow aspect on our top head of our triple head mast or an approach aspect. Before we move on, we need to click apply in our signal mask pairs. And then that will add that logic to the triple head mast. Now, the reason why it's showing an approach signal is because our destination mast, our single head mast on the right hand side, is showing a stop aspect. If I close this window here, and then go in and click on LS4 and occupy that sensor, you'll notice that the triple head mast and the top head has now dropped to a stop aspect because LS4 is now occupied. If I unclick it, our approach signal comes back up because our destination signal is still showing a stop aspect. If I click on the turnout at LT89 and switch it through to the diverging route along our passing siding, you also notice that the signal has now actually dropped to a stop signal. That's because the path from our triple head mast is now going down our passing siding and there is no signal logic set up. If I close the turnout again, the signal logic is enabled and our approach aspect comes back up. And that's the first stage of how we add signal mast logic to our panel. In the next video, we'll go through how we add the signal logic for the signal mast down our passing siding.